Sounds great. Sounds great. I recognize some of the names here, guys, so I'm super excited. Sometimes you don't know who you're going to be speaking to, so this makes it even more fun when you know who you're talking to. So good afternoon, and hope you guys had a nice big lunch. Now you're ready to take a quick nap, and I'm going to help fire things up just a little bit to get you through the afternoon. Um, as you guys know, we're going to be talking about what to expect uh, with the all-star training program, something I am super, super passionate about, uh, mostly because um, it's something that has drastically changed uh, my life and the way that um, uh, they're telling me my camera is off in uh, the way that I sell, the way that I, the way that I uh, present and what it has done for me um, just, just in, in, in general for our agency, but then as a personal producer. So we've tried several different ways of how we're going to uh, be able to relay this kind of information. I'm going to try a new camera for those who are not able to see me. We have tried to do webinars. We've tried to do in classroom setting to do the training to say, hey, these are the systems. These are the uh, selling processes that we are currently using that have made a significant difference with our um, with our organization. And um, so with all of that, it just didn't work out really well. So what we did is we took a little bit of time, found a way, give a lot of credit to our digital marketing team and, and Jason um, being able to help put this in a, in a fashion, a learning management system that allows people to really be able to absorb it. If you're anything like me, it takes hearing something more than once before it really sinks in. I might be the only slow one here, but I really think that it takes me, let's say, three times to hear something before it really, really sinks in. And so in this learning management system with the boot camp, the training, all of that, it's something that, hey, I watched it, I learned it, I understand it, but I'd like to hear it again. Or, hey, I now have a prospect that meets that description, matches that description, and I'd like to refresh my memory as to how do I approach, and I'll just make this up, a 401k rollover. How do I approach the subject of long-term care solutions? What are those solutions? Long-term care, short-term care, life with long-term care, et cetera. So, so with that all being said, it's in a format, it's in a, in a system, learning management system that allows it to be effectively communicated and relayed to you. So that, that's kind of number one. Um, number two, it's all done in bite-sized increments um, where over the course of eight weeks, um, we, we have videos designated for week one, and then we have a meeting on a Thursday morning. Uh, we're on a live Zoom video conference call just talking about the training for that week and, and um, uh, ask, asking questions, or let's say that you were role playing and you ran into some hurdles or some challenges that you weren't sure how to overcome. And, and, and we talk about it and we overcome it together. Um, so, so that's just kind of giving you a little bit of a, and, and after eight weeks, you're really, you have all of the information that you need. Um, I'm going to go through the outline right now. Um, and, and what are you going to get? If you say, Hey, you know what? I'm not sure if this fits for me. What does it all entail? The outline of this uh, boot camp is going to be first and foremost, the client needs assessment. And I'm going to spend just a little bit of time here on the client needs assessment is, is of all of the producers across the country that are super successful. We try and take note as to what makes these guys successful. Um, you know, how do they write all these products? And, and I can't help but to say there's probably no better way. There's many different ways to skin a cat, but there's probably no better way to approach a prospect or approach a client trying to write life, long-term care, annuities, cancer, med sub, hip plans, M M without feeling like a greedy salesman that I'm just trying to sell everything that I have in my kit. And with this needs assessment, it is a super strategic approach that just allows you to gather the information 
and then only sell specifically to the need. And it's a tough deal when you feel like, hey, I'm going to really focus on uh, annuities. And I give this wham, bam, annuity spiel and pitch. And I go through the whole presentation and I knock it out of the park. And I come to find out they don't have any money. You know, there's no savings, there's no CDs, there's no 401k, there's no investments. Well, then it just looks like I'm pitching in the dark, throwing darts at the wall, hoping that they're going to stick. And, um, and so when you, when you, when the client sees that you're taking a um, specific approach or a authentic approach to meeting their needs, uncovering their needs, and then only selling specifically to their needs, um, they can sense that it is a very real thing, that it's not a one size fits all, that I'm not just pitching the same baloney used car salesman approach to every person that comes into, into our office or every person that I see. So first and foremost, the client needs assessment is just going to help you learn, uncover, what does this client need? Do they even need long-term care? Do they have assets to protect? Do I even want to talk about a 401k? Do they have a 401k? And so it takes just a little bit of time to go through that. So we learn how to use the needs assessment. First, that's the foundation. And then from there, we learn the reason each week following, the reason why there is a need for cancer insurance. Um, why, why would a person need cancer insurance? You know, when we sell, let's say a Medicare supplement, we get to tell them that, hey, you know, the most that you're gonna pay on a plan G is $198 for a Part B deductible, right? So why would I need cancer insurance? And we go through the statistics showing that um, two thirds of cancer related costs are non-medical and the biggest expense with a cancer diagnosis is coming out of uh, that patient's pocket and not being paid for by the insurance. Uh, the next week, and I'm just gonna go through our little workbook here, make sure I don't leave anything out. Uh, with this class, everybody gets a workbook and you can kind of fill in uh, notes as you go along, but the, the next week would just be annuities. If I'm completely honest, uh, annuities is something I stayed away from for a very long time because I was intimidated talking about money. And so with just a little bit of education and becoming familiar with transfers and 401k rollovers and what are the rules? How do I prevent my clients from having a taxable event? Uh, we really just break it down and make it super simple. Trust me, guys, if I can do it, it has to be simple. Um, and we've, we've seen a lot of, had a lot of success with that. So covering annuities, kind of the do's and don'ts and how to effectively approach that subject. Life insurance, you know, life insurance can be looked at in a, a lot of different ways. You know, it can be just, you know, to cover outstanding debts, you know, so that's a certain type of life insurance could be just to um, make sure that we're covering final expenses, make sure loved ones are not responsible um, after you pass, you know, it could be a long-term care I'm sorry, a life insurance with a long-term care um, rider, kind of best of both worlds. Um, could be just a term, like I said, uh, cover doubt, debt for a certain period of time. So anyway, we just kind of, what branch are we gonna go into when it comes to the life insurance? Uh, we just say that, hey, there's four reasons why a person needs life insurance. Which one of these applies to you? Instead of just picking a number and hoping that it is close to what they're thinking, you really have a great guide for how to um, approach the life insurance subject. I'm looking at, can we see the workbook you're looking at? We can, um, I don't know how effective this is going to be. This is what it's gonna look like. No, I didn't have anything to do with putting it together because it looks 10 times better than it would if I had something to do with it. And you just kind of see how there are uh, a little bit of a quiz that goes along with it um, and then notes that you get to add in there more or less in my opinion just to make sure that uh, with the presentation the statistics that you really need to make sure that you have really good um, you have them down and you have your notes to be able to go back to and, and, and reference so um, that's that's good no open questions sorry I don't know that I'm the most effective webinar uh, presenter, but here we go. 
Number five, week five, we're going to talk about long-term care solutions. This is a big topic. You know, such a big, such a topic that, um, you know, there's short-term care, there's long-term care, there's life with long-term care. How do I know which one is going to be best suited for this prospect, for this client? Um, so, so just walking through that, the statistic as to why a person should carry long-term care coverage. Uh, week six, Medicare Advantage and hospital indemnity. If you are in an area where uh, Medicare Advantage is hot um, and you want to be well informed on Medicare Advantage, then you're going to know how to do Medicare Advantage, but you're also going to know how to pair it with a hospital indemnity plan to fill in the gaps, fill in the holes that are left with that Medicare Advantage plan. So uh, that's week six, seven Medicare supplement and part D. I feel like because that was our original foundation, um, that everybody knows that, but maybe Part D is something that you've stayed away from. So the Medicare supplements, just standardize, you know the drill there, and then Medicare Part D. Um, everything you need to know about how to present, the best way to present, um, how to recommend, hey, there's plans A through N, why are we recommending this one? Part D, there's 28 drug plans, at least in our area, in our state, there's 28 drug plans to choose from. How do I know which one is best? How to navigate the, the, the Medicare's website to determine which one's best and then be able to present with confidence to that client how I know this is your number one choice. Um, and then what I love, what's really cool on the week eight, um, if I'm not in your state, will the training still be helpful to me? 110%. Uh, we have had people from California to Oregon to Omaha to Illinois and Indiana, Iowa, Missouri, all over. And, and everything that we teach and train on is countrywide. It's, it's the best approach for if I know that I have a prospect coming into my office. Thank you for the question. This is going to take me in a whole other direction. I mean it in a good way. If I have a prospect that I know is going to come in and I know that I want to maximize that opportunity. How am I going to approach this person? If I know fast forward two, three, maybe four years, I wanna make sure that their long-term care coverage is covered, meaning their assets are protected. Their money is working for them in the best way possible with 100% safety. In the event that they have cancer, that they're protected that they have the best health insurance coverage. And on down the line, if I, if I wanna make sure that they have a complete, I've done a thorough job, how do I wanna approach that? How do I, do I try and do it all when they turn 65 and they're overwhelmed with Medicare information? How do I want, so there is a strategic approach to where you're saying, I want to maximize this opportunity, how do I? In what order should I? What does that look like? How much is too much? Is there such thing as information overload? Heck yes. So the systematic approach is what I'm failing to communicate. There is a systematic approach to how to maximize the opportunity with every client where they feel the genuine desire to meet their needs and not just to sell products. Um, and it just works well. So I don't, I don't, uh, I think a fun word is braggadocious. Um, nobody wants to hear anybody on, on a webinar say, well, this is what I'm doing and everybody should be doing it. But humbly, I tell you, the results to maximize the opportunity with every client, I used to feel like I would bank on a bonus of a big ticket item, life, annuity, et cetera, about once a month. And with this systematic approach of truly seeking to meet the needs of the client, I feel as though at least every week there's a bonus or two every week. That's a game changer. Whatever you want to do, fine dining, boats, horses, Jim, that's you and I, um, to support your hobbies, it's just a beautiful thing. When you're meeting the needs of the client and you're getting to make a lot of money doing it, it is an awesome combination. 
Um, so anyway, I got off of this. The final week is just preparing to launch. And what I think is cool about this is everybody's in a different scenario. Some are, uh, have been in the game for a long time. Some are new to the game. And we just take a really hands-on approach. I get to be a mentor and just get to say, hey, you know, and, and I'm thinking of you, Jim, but it doesn't matter. You've been in the business for a long time. You've got a really good thing going. Where, where, what would be the next step for you or the first step in trying to start implementing some systems that are going to really take your numbers through the roof? I believe in working smarter, not harder. Hey, bale and hay all day, 90 degrees, it's hard work. And we're not busting our backs, we're not killing ourselves, we're just doing things a little bit smarter to make us more efficient, uh, to allow us to meet more needs. So on week eight, we call it preparing to launch. And with that hands-on approach, that mentor type deal, bouncing off ideas, whether you feel like mailers or speaking engagements, seminars, um, going back to your own client base. I think the biggest challenge, the biggest hurdle, and guys, I want to say this, I'm going to run to your questions right after I summarize this. I think the biggest challenge is, is finding people to prospects to, to, to get in front of. You know, we have this, people think, oh, you're in sales, you're just going to try and sell me something. But when you have a current book of business, clients that like you, know you, and trust you, you have a tremendous head start that you get to educate yourself or go through a little bit of training that's going to help you become comfortable talking about things that you're not currently talking about. And then you meet more needs of the client. The client wins. Your paycheck increases you win. It's just a win-win all the way, all the way around. So, uh, uh, last thing, and then I want to uh, make sure that I'm answering questions or taking plenty of time for questions. But um, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Thanks, guys. Thanks. That's how I roll. Um, I think the last thing that I was just going to share is, uh, um, oh, the training the training, everybody's worried about how much time in a week do I have to account for this training? I mean, is this gonna to totally disrupt what I'm used to doing on a regular basis? No, what is so cool about this learning management system is you do it at your own convenience, at your own time. So there's a, week, there's a week's worth of videos designated for week one. You watch those videos wherever you are. You don't have to leave the comfort of your office or your home, you're doing them wherever you are. And then we follow up on them on a Thursday morning call. So the only thing you're really committing to is, hey, I'm going to find some time from Sunday afternoon all the way until Thursday morning to go through these, the, these training and do the homework assignment. Thursday morning is the only thing you're committing to, 9 o'clock central, saying, hey, uh, we're going to jump on a Zoom video conference call. And we're going to work through some of the challenges that we're facing as we're learning this new stuff. So that's that. Um, thinking of a guy named Shane, I say, Shane, when do you find it most convenient to do your training? You know, he has a big shop, uh, property and casualty and still attending, um, uh, uh, sorry, I was distracted with the question. I'm coming right to it. Um, servicing all of his clients. And he said, you know, what's funny is he goes, we got a newborn baby. Uh, I, I think it was a little girl and two o'clock in the morning, I'm rocking my baby and watching you on these videos doing the, doing the training. He said, so two o'clock in the morning is the most convenient time for me. So I think that that's pretty neat, special when you get to use and do the training at your own convenience. So are most people who do this program brand new agents? No, most of the people who do this program are veteran agents who have a current book of business um, and they're trying to maximize the opportunity. I would, these are my own numbers. I'm saying 80% of the folks would be that, 20% would be brand new. What is totally cool about it is, in the same class, you have brand new people that have not one client, and you have people that have 
you know, a thousand clients and we're both learning the same stuff at the same time. So it works out, works out really well. Um, if I'm missing questions, guys, forgive me and just shout it loud. Jason, if there's any other questions that we can filter through, um, thank you. Is there a trial? I can't believe I left this out. So I'm passionate about it. I want to get the word out that we have this awesome thing that's going to change um, in a good way. Change is a word that a lot of people don't like, that is going to improve the way that you do the way that you do, do things the way that you do. And, and we want to get the word out. So there is a cost to the course. And sometimes that's a hurdle. And so is this going to be worth it? Should I really do this? What we're doing is we're doing a two week trial, free trial period where you get to just do the first two weeks and say, holy cow, this is what I know you're going to say. Holy cow. I can't, that is just what I need. That is going to be so helpful. That's going to be so impactful. It's going to help me tremendously. And now it is crystal clear whether or not I want to invest in myself to go through this training program to sell a lot more um, to my current clients or new clients. Do I have to have all contracts through you? I love this. I'm the only one that says it this way and I probably should get some clarity of whether or not I should be saying this. Uh, the answer to that is no, you do not have to have all your questions through us. What I want, this is what I want you to think about is once you've gone through this program and you see the benefits and you're reaping the benefits, I want people to want to marry us without ever having to saying, Hey, doggone it. New horizons has given us, given me more of a boost, more help, the greatest assistance, the greatest service. And I don't really want to, I'm, I'm, I'm not obligated. I don't have to do all my contracts through New Horizons, but doggone it, I want to. And so I'll say it again, we want you to want to marry us without ever being asked to marry us. I hope that helps. It makes sense in my mind. I hope it makes sense to you in your mind. Seeing Q and A's, anything in the chats. Weekly meetings are how long? Um, weekly meetings typically are going to be an hour. I just ask people to set aside for an hour, but I will say this, what is very common and very frequent is a lot of people will, um, choose to stay on. So they've set aside, you know, from nine to 10, but they don't have an appointment right away. Um, you know, at 10 o'clock and they'll stay on and they'll want to do some additional role playing or ask them additional questions. And we may run into 1030, but, uh, just bank up block off an hour on Thursday mornings is all you'd have to. We're sitting here at 2.23. Um, yes, we do record all meetings for um, later reference. And I do know that people do like to go back to those recordings and um, revisit that material. Guys, we're gonna hang for a couple more minutes. Any questions that come up, definitely uh, fire them away. Can you expand more on that week eight? So, prepare to launch. On the week eight, prepare to launch. I'm expanding I'm, without trying to say the same things. If you're a brand new agent, I'm going to set you up on a roadmap of, of how you, where you should be prospecting, how you should be prospecting. What, I mean, this is crazy. What you should be leading with as your door opener, what it should look like for your warm up. There's an eight step selling process and I'm going to walk you through the eight step selling process and make sure that you have a little binder, little book, a little something that's going to allow you to strategically go through and make sure that you're, it, we're, no, we're not turning a person into a robot, but we're giving an outline that can help a brand new person that knows nothing be successful. So you're setting, what systems should I use? Hey, there's some pretty cool tools that are going to help me when I'm knocking on doors. Um, there's some apps that we would recommend you to have on your phone. So that would be 
as I'm expanding on, on the prepare to launch, that's, that's what it would look like for a new person. Should I be buying leads? Where should I be getting leads? What that, so that's that. If you're a veteran, tell me about your book. Tell me what you're writing. Tell me what you're not writing. Tell me what you're comfortable with. Tell me what you're not comfortable with. Um, and, and how you're going to take that first step to start implementing um, the systems that you that you're hoping you know hoping to adopt after this webinar you'll be directed to thank you after this webinar you'll be directed to our all-star website where you can join the trial and see more information guys I'm just gonna be bold I highly recommend new or veteran rookie or veteran it's free for the first two weeks jump in there see what it's all about Start letting your wheels roll with how this is going to um, help you and, and see for yourself what it's all about. And then after the second week, if you say, hey, this is just not for me, don't do it. It doesn't cost you anything. You're not out of anything. I saw somewhere uh, where you help during sales if you're getting uh, comfortable with a product. How does that work? Three, um, I think everybody needs help with their first three. So what I, what I say is lean on me for your first three presentations of everything. And if you don't need help, cool. You know, you're a pro, you've practiced enough, you've role played enough, great. But what I feel is have the expectation that, hey, I've learned how to sell cancer. But when I go into that presentation, if I get asked a question that I don't know the answer to, I wanna know that I got some backup. I want to have a little support staff here. Let me know when your appointment is. This is what this is how it works. Let me know when your appointment is, um, or when you're going to be cold calling. Whatever your situation is, and I'll set aside that time. Or even if I'm with somebody, I can say, "Hey, this is important." I got, and and I answer the phone. And most of the time, I say, "Hey, put me on speakerphone. I'll help walk you through this." Hey, Mrs. Jones, this is Michael. Um, you know, have have fun. Never embarrass the person. Um, the client would rather, I'm going on a different subject, the client would rather you make a phone call to confirm some information without making it up. They can sense it when you start blowing smoke. And so, so I just say call in the middle of that presentation. And after you've gone through three of them, you end up running through enough of the same questions. Um, and, and your comfort level, your confidence is a lot higher after three. And you really, you're just off to the races. I mean, you, um, um, you're taking off the training wheels and you're running after, after, after three. So the reason why I say bank on doing three is I feel like I get a lot of feedback. Well, I hated to bother you. Well, I hate to type. That's what I'm here for. That is, don't ask me why it, it, it almost feels like it's better to win as a coach than it is to win as a player. And trust me, we love winning as players, but I enjoy, um, helping because I know that I was there where all I was was a med sup guy helping with part D. And if I wrote anything else, if I'm being super honest, if I wrote anything else, it was because the client asked me about it. It fell in my lap. Now we are proactively addressing things um, and diving into subjects that makes a world of difference when you're proactive and not just taking what falls in your lap. So when you go through this systematic approach and you get through, you get to say, hey, Mrs. Jones, based on your needs assessment, you know, you have this need covered and you're in great shape. You have this need covered and you're in great shape. A couple of areas of concern that I would like to bring to your attention are, boom, you know, your money is sitting in the bank earning a very, very low interest rate. And I'm excited to share with you that we can uh, offer a guaranteed interest rate with no fees, with no risk. And here is the difference from what you're getting today on $100,000 earning point zero point six on that CD in the bank. And we can give you a guaranteed interest rate of 3.8. Here's the calculation. Here's the difference with no fees, with no risk. Uh, I can help improve that situation. And so that's what I would be recommending for you. And that's what it's like. I mean, there is no such thing 
uh, in, in this whole deal with, with pressure. There's no, I, I wouldn't do it if it was high pressure sales. Um, so it's just, Mrs. Jones, based on these, um, these drugs that you're on, uh, and the pharmacy of your choice, you know, there's 28 drug plans to choose from. And this one is the one that's going to save you the most. And I know almost everybody does part D, but when you can say with great confidence, this is your number one option out of 28 plans, you're ultimately doing the exact same thing for everything else. And you're not pitching and you're not fishing. You're truly making a recommendation. You think about it. These people are coming to you and I because they need help, because we're the experts in our field. And so when we make that recommendation for you to have, and I'll just make this up, for you to have a Medicare supplement, Plan G, you can boldly make that statement. Hey, Mrs. Jones, this is why I would recommend this Medicare supplement, Plan G. I also would recommend you to have this Medicare Part D plan for these reasons. I would like to also recommend, and this is not all done in the same meeting, but I'd also like to recommend you to have, um, you know, improve your situation on, on, you know, the bank CD like we just talked about. Earn a lot more interest with no fees, no penalties, no risk, you know, all of that. Because I'll say I'm guilty of, in the past, I used to like throw it out there, like almost like I was fishing for, you know, anybody in your family have cancer? You, know, you might need a cancer. It just didn't work well. Well, now we've got a strategic approach that just says, based on your needs assessment, I would be recommending, boom. Any more fun questions? Hey guys, I want you to, I want you to everybody to jot this down. I wanna give you my cell phone and I want you to feel, some people don't always feel comfortable asking questions in front of a group. Just FYI, for all the Q&A, everything has come up as an anonymous, I can't tell who's asking what questions, so feel free to do that. But I'm gonna give you my cell and you can call me anytime if you have questions. But 217-972-7647. Reach out anytime if you have questions, um, but, uh, Jason, if you can go ahead and throw it up on the screen for the next, the date for our next class and when that will begin. Um, as soon as this thing ends, everybody will be able to be directed to the website where you can join and at least sign up for the trial. Any final questions, guys? We'll hang out for another 30 seconds to see if anybody pops in another question. Jason's got us really high tech where 25 days, the countdown, 25 days, nine hours, 26 minutes, and the seconds just keep going away. Guys, thanks for joining. Appreciate you being here, taking a look at our, our training program. It's not new, it's something that we've been doing for a long time. It's just in a new format where it's easier to reach people all across the country and to be able to successfully uh, absorb all of the material. All right, you guys have a great day. Thanks again.